here's my finished radius block. Uh, really happy about how it turned out. So I made this little test piece here uh, that I sent. This is just a two by four cut into to this uh, this little piece here that I sent using this block, and uh, it does match perfectly with this. Uh, this is a 16 inch gauge. Uh, that I have, so I don't know if you can see that, but it does match perfectly. So uh, this does a decent job. Uh, so I'm really happy about how it turned out again, because uh, buying one of those blocks, especially if you want a longer one like I made here, costs a lot of money. So uh, it's actually pretty easy to, to make one of those. Uh, starting with a piece of maple, I wanted to, to something to be, uh, the, the block itself to be really hard. So I used maple. I guess you could use uh, some other hardwood, it uh, doesn't really care. So I made sure the block itself was all uh, square before beginning. Uh, and then I made this little contraption, contraption here, which is actually just uh, some kind of jig to, to be able to, uh, to move the, the router just like a pendulum right here. And the important part is since I wanted to have a 16 inch, 16 inch uh, radius, which means that uh, this radius here uh, is a tiny bit of a circle that would be 16 inch radius overall or uh, 32 inches uh, diameter. So uh, this router here is attached with this pivot here and the tip of the bit down here to this hole is actually 16 inches. So if I was able to, I can because of those nuts, if I was able to rotate the rotor, uh, it would make this uh, 32 diameter uh, circle. So this actual little movement down here is all I need though. Uh, and as you've seen, I just made this, uh, those little guide rails here to be able to, to slide my piece of wood down here and just do this little movement uh, on the whole surface of the block, which uh, resulted in the, in the whole surface here uh, being carved to exactly the, the opposite of this, which is uh, the right radius. Uh, and you can see like that, that it matches. So, uh, Kind of a temporary jig. I don't think I will keep this thing because I don't need it anymore. All I needed was this one block, but pretty easy to put back together uh, to just make another one. I did use some uh, wing nuts here to be able to adjust uh, the height of this whole thing to match the height of the block because my block was a specific height and I wanted it to uh, barely touch the block. Uh, when it was on, on the side, so I didn't want to remove too much material. Uh, so this, uh, those nuts are what it was for. And if I had wanted to have maybe a 12 inch radius or something like that, all I needed to do was to drill another hole. Uh, this is 16, this would have been like 14 and 12. So I could drill another hole, put this nut in another hole and it would, uh, it would make uh, another radius. So, Pretty easy after uh, after doing uh, the pass on the, the whole piece with that. Uh, there were small marks, rotter marks here and there, no, no, nothing very really important. And I use this. I don't have any actual real ascending beam. You can buy those, but uh, this metal level does really great. I just put some uh, <coughs> double-sided tape on the side and. Uh, put some sandpaper to be able to sand uh, the, the block like that to remove just to remove the the little uh, uh, tool marks that were that were there but it was really uh, not a big deal actually i could probably have gone with uh, with just like it was so because i i, uh, I put some uh, double side tape on the block too and some regular just regular sandpaper actually uh, you can buy uh, uh, sandpaper with uh, with a back uh, already uh, that can peel off and stick on the surface, but just uh, standard double side tape. It's, uh, I'm using actually some uh, tape made for I think it's made for flooring or stuff like that. Uh, it works pretty good. Like I said, I did this uh, this little test piece. It's perfect, just like I wanted. So uh, my next step is going to be to use this sanding beam to actually send my real uh, fretboards that are attached to my guitars now. Uh, 
So uh, this will be my next step using this block. I will have to make some kind of a rail over my guitar tops to be able to send this thing uh, linearly. Uh, but it should go pretty good actually. It should take some time. It took a little while just to, for this little piece of wood, which is actually soft wood. So for the ebony fretboards, it should take a while, but uh, now I have the right two and I can uh, obviously change the, the sandpaper if it gets, uh, uh, if it's not sanding anymore. Uh, so again, that was about it. If you want to have some uh, sanding block or sanding beam, radius uh, sanding beam, uh, Go on and make yourself some kind of jig like that. Uh, you can attach pretty much any type of rotor to that. And uh, it's pretty easy to do actually. It just takes a little time and does a really good job. And uh, it's a, a, a lot cheaper than buying those uh, those beads. So stay tuned in the, mean, in the meantime for my next video where I'll be using this uh, this block on my actual, art, actual fretboards.